Jacob Hall? Oh, you want to know about Jake? Well, I'm kind of surprised you don't know about him. I mean, everybody kind of knows about him. He's well known. And everybody loves him. I mean, he's a great guy. He's funny and always brings a certain element to the group. He's always keeping up on friends' lives. He's just a great guy in general. You just naturally want to love him. Yeah, he's, uh, involved in youth group here. I mean, he comes on somewhat a regular basis. He's, we welcome any youth who wants to come here, and we love having Jacob here. It's just that he doesn't talk much. He doesn't want to really get involved. He kind of recedes into the shadows, into the background. I'd like to tell you more about Jacob and his involvement, but... I really don't know what to think. Jacob's a strong student, uh, there's no doubt about that. He's taken my psychology class this semester. Uh, great writer, prolific writer. I don't think I've ever had a student write as much as he has. Generally, it's great when a student speaks his mind. I can get into his head, and I can tell that there's a lot of intelligence there, uh, but there's also some other things going on that uh, kind of concern me. Um, you know, uh, some things I can tell that are a little bit abnormal. You know, don't get me wrong. He's a great kid, but there's some things, some of his thoughts, it just scares me. Yeah, he lives with us. He's a pretty cool kid, I guess. He doesn't really hang out with our group that much. I mean, he's nice and everything, and we invite him to come along, but he just kind of stays in his room like, the whole time by himself. He's organized and everything, and he, he's a nice guy, but uh, we just don't really know him that well. I just can't really remember what he looks like. Yeah, Jake's been a member of the physics club for about a year now. He's not the kind of person who would join us for no reason, you know? He joined because he had something to bring to the group. He's an engineer and had a passion to express. His mind works like a machine, all these different things just meshing together. We really appreciate him as a member of the club. He works well with people and knows how to teach them something without being condescending. Overall, he's, yeah, he's really good. Well, I guess sometimes he can get a bit carried away. Jacob? Yeah, he, he worked for me. He comes to work every day. I'll grant him that. But he's a doggone lazy. I mean, college kid and all, wanting a job, I need the money. Hate to fire him, but sometimes you gotta wonder what he's doing when I'm not around. Uh, not like uh, he chattering around to a friend or anything. It's just a hunt, but. I just don't know. My son? Well, he was always a good son. I don't really know what teenagers I'm supposed to be comparing him to, but he knew the rules and and he always seemed to play by them. 
He went out a lot as a teenager, but I always knew where he was at. He didn't always listen to his father and I, but, well, there was that one time, but boys will be boys. Jacob for something like 17 months. I don't think there's anything I don't know about him. I mean, we've gotten so close in such a short amount of time. We talk to each other and we see each other so much. You might as well call it a marriage already. I think it's amazing how God has allowed us to get to know other people so intimately that we can know exactly who they are what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what their passion is. I mean, honestly? Hey! This is him! Are you, are you done with me here? Okay. <laughs>